Hi, it's Jamie with Tech Solid, and today I'm going to be talking about Spark. Recently, an application for iOS devices like the Apple Watch was released onto the App Store called Spark. Spark is a convenient, new, and exciting email client that is almost completely customizable. Today, we're going to be exploring Spark and outlining the advantages and disadvantages of using this email client over a preferred email client, such as Inbox by Google. So there are quite a lot of advantages, but I'm only going to speak about the really, really important core main features and advantages. So first of all, the inbox. Spark is much more than an email inbox. It's a smart unified inbox which collects all the emails from all of your accounts and automatically categorizes them for easy processing. With a single swipe, you can pin important emails to the top of your inbox. This could be tasks you need to do that day or emails with important information and you can swipe again to snooze them for another day to return to them the next day. Spark is clever enough to know what type of emails you receive. The inbox automatically sorts emails into personal, newsletter and notification boxes for easy processing, putting real emails from real people as top priority. If you have accidentally pinned or snoozed the wrong email, just shake your iOS device or hit undo to undo the last action. Notifications Notifications are constant and we usually get a lot of them. Smart notifications mean you'll only get notified when you receive an email that's really, really, really important. You can turn on read receipts to be alerted when, when one of your emails has been read by the recipient. You no longer have to sit around wondering if the message has even hit their inbox. Spark smart notifications work on your Apple Watch as well. Get a friendly tap on the wrist when an important email arrives. You can even reply to the email from the notification directly. The viewer. Spark's design is clear and focused on what's important to you, the content of your emails. The app gets out of the way and lets you focus on getting your inbox cleared for the day ahead, whether you're reading on iPhone or Apple Watch. Sometimes you just need to send a quick reply to an email. Sometimes you've read it and you've liked what you've read, okay? So quickly you can send a like, a thanks or a smile with just a tap from the bottom of any email. This is kind of like on Facebook when you can like a notification or uh, like a status for example. Attachments No matter what attachment or file you throw at Spark, it will find a way to open it. Most attachments can be opened natively by Spark but some will require opening a different app. But either way it's going to get the task done. You can even use natural language to search uh, for emails that contain a specific attachment. Example, search for PDF attachments from last week and it will find exactly that because it uses natural language. Composing emails. Spark is designed so that the focus is always on the email being written and the people you are sending it to. It's easy to add people as CC or BCC just using the keyboard. Spark automatically finds all of your email signatures. You can swipe left or right to find the one that you require. Integrations. You can save files to the cloud or attach them to your emails from it. Spark supports Dropbox, Box, iCloud Drive, OneDrive, Evernote and Google Drive and a few other integrated services which, which will essentially enable you to upload your files to the cloud and then you can basically zoom all your data down from it and stick that into an email and send it off to your friends. Smart Search Spark uses natural language search so you don't have to think like a computer when you're trying to find your emails. Type exactly as you think. For example, Spark will find the email you're looking for if you typed in um, looking for an attachment from William, so you'd search for attachment from William. You will speak exactly as your mind is saying the information and Spark will get the job done. Widgets. You can manage your iOS device's calendar and add events from your inbox with the calendar widget. You can quickly see when you're available before sending an event invitation and accept or decline an event with a single tap. How easy is that? Swipes. Spark has support for four different types of swipes, short and long in both the left and right direction. You can customise easily which swipe does in that swipes menu, like mail swipe left to ar archive, Spark has got you covered. Apple Watch. You can quickly see what's happening in your inbox with just a glance. You may very easily see how many unread emails you, ha you have had, the sender and subject for your last received email and how many messages you have pinned. For the first time ever you can now reply to emails from your wrist using the Apple Watch. You can select a quick reply or send a full response using dictation, all without even having to know where your iPhone is. 
When you receive an important email, you'll get a tap on the wrist. You can easily choose what to do from there, whether to read the email, reply to it or pass for later by snoozing it. With Spark for Apple Watch, it's easy to browse through important emails on your wrist. If one of them is a bit too long to read on the Apple Watch, hand it off to your iPhone to continue reading it or write a reply. So there's really only one disadvantage to Spark that I can see, the snooze feature. So Spark snoozed email where you set a message to come back to you at another date because you don't want to read it at the minute doesn't work really as well as rival apps like Mailbox. Martin Brown from www.thenextweb.com says an email that I snoozed in Spark came back to my inbox at the right time, but only in Spark. It only appeared in my inbox in other apps after I'd opened it in Spark first. Zardanov, one of the main developers for Spark, said that this is because we don't use external servers to store your email for security reasons, so everything happens on the client side. He did note that this may change in the future so that the app can take advantage of features that could only be added using external servers. Just two days ago, Google opened Inbox by Gmail to everyone and Outlook has attracted a lot of fans over the year, so Riadol may have to fight particularly hard for attention, but if you're serious about your Inbox, it's definitely worth it. What's your opinion? Please let me know in the comments below and subscribe to TechSolid if you have not already. My name is Jamie and I'll speak to you again soon.